In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to shell a crab claw. The equipment you will need is a container to hold the crab meat and something to pick the meat out of the claw. I use a thin bladed knife like this one. You will also need something to saw part of the claw, which I'll show you later. I use one of these. This is a junior hacksaw. It's a very inexpensive item available from most do-it-yourself shops. You'll also need a rolling pin or a mallet and a clean tea towel. Now, I'm going to break the claw up into separate pieces. This joint is very easy to break. Just twist it like that, being careful not to get any shell into the container. Look for any broken pieces and pick them off. There aren't any. And we'll start to remove the white meat from this part. That's that piece empty. Move to this end and again just with your fingers pull the white meat off that large sinew similarly on the other side then just break that sinew off and same with the other one. Now this joint is almost impossible to break with your bare hands, so you do have to use a tool. In this case I'm going to use a junior hacksaw and I'm going to cut off one side of the hinge. that you can break that piece away there's a little bit of sawdust just brush that aside now this should separate very easily again be careful to make sure that none of the broken shell if there is any gets into the container. I can't see any here. I'll now remove the white meat from this knuckle. These cat, uh, claws can be obtained from any good fishmonger. The male claws is what you're after. They are much bigger than the female claws. And the bigger the claw, the less work you will have to do. In my experience, if you want, say, 200 grams of crab meat, you'll need to buy about 500 grams of claws. Now we come to the main part of the claw. Again, you'll find two large sinews here. Just use your fingers to pull off the white meat and then break off the tendon. Now the main claw, you'll find that with a little bit of effort 
you can just spread the end of the claw and it will snap like that. Again, be careful, look for any broken bits of claw and dispose of them. There's one there. Again, there's a big tendon here. Just remove the white meat from it. And then there'll be a part of the claw in here. And now you're left with the biggest part of the claw. Now in here, there is a large tendon, which with a bit of effort, you can usually pull out. But it does take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience to work the white meat from around it. And eventually you will expose that large tendon and you'll be able to pull it out. If you haven't got the patience for that, a bit of brute force is involved. First of all, get yourself a clean tea towel, lay it over the shell and a rolling pin or a mallet. A couple of good taps with that and the shell will crack open. Again, this requires a lot of care because you do not want to get any of that crab shell into your mix. Because biting on a bit of crab shell is not very good for your teeth. Just very carefully prise away the shell. And when you see the meat attached to the shell, just gently scrape it off. Now you will see in this part of the shell The main tendon I referred to earlier, again be careful, don't want any pieces of shell in here. And there you can see the tendon there and the white meat is firmly attached to each side of it. Either with your fingers or with the knife, just gradually work that beautiful white meat off. The sinew might break in your hand, just dispose of it. Move to the other side. There's the main tendon. Pretty much intact. Just get the crab meat off your fingers. Cut the last bit of the shell. And you will find another piece of meat in this end of the claw. Get that out. Scrape the last of the white meat into your bowl.
There we have some shell-free crab meat, white crab meat, ready to make some crab cakes later today.